Hey everybody, Ann here. I'm out in the chicken yard. Um, until further notice, the chickens are going to be in the yard mucking them free range. But I just made a whole bunch of eggs and tossed them out there for them. They love them. So now I'm going to go in the back and check on Beauty. Hopefully she's just broody and not sick or injured or whatever. So I've saved a few scrambled eggs for her. So I'm going to go check and see what she's up to. Oh my gosh. She's not even in there. Oh Lord, look at all those eggs. All right, I gotta go find her. Not right, good news. Um, I found her. She made it outside the coop. She was underneath one of the coops and it was really hard. I had to get on my hands and knees and crawl in there and get her. So she's not broody. She's got a uh, broken, this leg over here is broken. Now, she wasn't part of the whole snafu with the dogs yesterday. The dogs were um, in the yard when she was out off to the side of my house. Um, if you're looking at the house, if you're facing the house, she was off to the left of it, laying out my yard. And uh, sh this leg here is basically flaccid, so I don't know. I don't know if I can fix that. Um... I don't know if it can be fixed, but uh, for right now, I'm just going to go ahead and feed her. Um, she was laying in the mud, so I had to clean her up a bit. Um, she wasn't pasting up, but she did have a bunch of stuff on her behind, so I got that all off. So, um, but she's drinking, so, um, yeah, and I'm not going to let her sit on those eggs, um, even if she is broody, because uh, without both of her legs... Um, I don't think she can turn the eggs like she needs to. So, I don't know. I don't know if there's any hope for this one, but we're going to just uh, kind of figure this out. The dogs are inside the tiny house, so they can't get to her. But I got some scrambled eggs for her and some water, and as you saw, she's drinking. So, poor thing. I have no idea what happened. I didn't see on the, any dogs on the property when it happened, so I don't know. I don't know, maybe if it was a hawk that came down and she tangled with it. I, I just really don't know what happened. Um, I wish I had made the decision yesterday to not free range the chickens, but I'm paying for it now. Well, here's Beauty. <laughs> She's been eating and drinking. Here's Mr. Lucas. We're doing surgery, chicken surgery. He has some experience in this, don't you, Mr. Lucas? All right, so I examined her, and it looks like this joint right up here that is the same as this one is broken. It's either this, or it could be completely dislocated up here. I really think it's this joint, though. So I've splinted her. I put a splint here, a splint here, well, I wrapped her with some gauze first, and then put a splint, put a splint, wrapped her a little bit more. This stuff here, the only reason why I have it tied off like this, and that was Mr. Lucas' idea, is because this is kind of old Coban, and it's not sticking very well. But you don't want it to come off. All right, we don't want it to come off. So I don't know. I'm going to keep her s segregated in the back. And she's really stinky. She's got flies all over her just because she hasn't been moving. So I'm going to put some diatomaceous earth on her and uh, put her in the back with some food. Look at yeah, for about She's a, just happy in your know, arms. For, for a week. I'm back inside now. Changed some clothes because she was a stinky chicken and she had bugs on her. You know, I mean, not like... It didn't look like anything was crawling on her, but it things were flying around her. Hopefully the diatomaceous earth does its trick, but I just needed to get washed up, if you know what I mean. So she's just in the back of the van now, and, I mean, she's alert. She doesn't seem like there's any problem, but um, I, I feel like it's the knee, but it may be a locate, dislocation at the hip, in which case I don't think there's anything I can do. Um, and if it... If it is the hip and she's not recovering and, um, you know, um, I, I won't hesitate to call her and I will, this will be my first time doing it all by myself. Um, and it may be the first time I get to actually use the pressure canner. 
um, because I've wanted to do that. So I'm just I'm going to take the mature attitude about it. Um, I didn't need this right now because I'm down to, well, eight hens, including her. So if I have to call her, then um, it'll only be seven. So, but, you know, you live and learn. And um, I think my decision on the dogs is to rehome all three of them. Uh, I don't, I don't want to be without a dog. I haven't been without a dog for a really, really long time. Um, but at the end of the day, my chickens are more important to me. They just are. Um, and there were three dogs that got out, three hens that were killed. And if you remember correctly, Papa was the first one that I found with an actual chicken in his mouth now. I don't think he started it, but I, I think that I would constantly be stressed out if something, if he got out and something happened to the chickens or neighbor's chickens or whatever. So I need to find a way to um, put these other dogs in other homes because they're great dogs, but I don't think a single one of them should ever be around chickens. So that's my decision on that. Um, and, you know, I, I'm not hungry. I haven't been eating. I don't feel like cooking anything, but uh, I do feel better today than I did yesterday, so tomorrow I'm sure I'm going to feel even better. So this is just going to be the video for today. Um, I've read some of the comments, not all of them. Thank you guys so much. You're just, you're great and supportive and loving and kind. Um, there was only one comment that I had to delete um, but thank you. Thank you for being so kind. So, um, I'm just moving forward. And, uh, if uh, my next door neighbors can't figure something out for the dogs, then I'm going to take it in my own hands and just figure it out. Um, quick update and it is starting to storm. Things are going to break loose. Um, update on the puppies. Um, the, my next door neighbor called and he said, that the woman wants the puppies. She's already gone out and bought collars and leashes. She lost her husband a couple months ago. Um, so she's got lots of property. She's got no chickens. Um, so she's going to get two really great dogs. Really, really great dogs. So tomorrow, uh, 4 or 5 p.m., the, huppy, the, the puppies are going to a new home. And she said she wanted both of them. She's not going to separate them. So, that's awesome. Anyhow, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.